So I'm going to talk about Night Court next. All right. So Night Court came out and it's, of course, doing very well. It's the, you know, it's the reboot of the 1980s sitcom that had like 10 seasons, you know, and right now it has the best ratings from 18 to 49, the demographic for this season than any other network entertainment show without, without a lead in from an NFL program, which is crazy. And it just debuted. There's two episodes out. But in case you haven't heard of it, like Night Court stars Big Bang Theories, Melissa Ranch, and the original series lead, uh, John. Roush. How do you say his name? Uh, what? No, no, no. John's last name. Her name, name. is La- Melissa Roush. Oh, how do you say his last name? Uh, La- 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 uh, you're muted, so I can't hear you. What'd you say? John Larroquette. Yeah, Larroquette. Yeah, Larroquette. And he's great. I-, I started watching it. He's great. But it opened up, so... 7.55 million viewers on its series premiere, which is nuts. They've never had some of that. The highest same day viewership for any NBC comedy since September of 2017, which was, I mean, that was Will and Grace. Will and Grace. If you go if you go back that far, which is nuts. And it even drew in like, so it even drew in like their second episode, it drew 6.94 million. So it's doing really great. The premiere was also the largest same day. For any audience, any comedy on TV this season, topping the 7.45 million viewership for the show Young Sheldon. So if you look at this, like it has the ratings. It's doing great. Um, I think we lost Sabrina for a second. It's doing great. And it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, maybe this has some traction. I should check it out. So I watched the first couple episodes uh, just to see what was happening with it. And uh, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, you only have John back from the original cast. Of course, the guy who plays the uh, the judge has passed away. So the way they work it out is they have it be his daughter now. His daughter's coming to night court, and she's trying to uh, take over her dad's footsteps. And then she brings John in because they need a defender. The person quits the first episode. John's living on his couch. He's got a big beard. He's like, you know, he he's can't deal with life. He gave up night court because he lost his wife. It's like a whole thing. So it's all a redemption story. He comes back and now they're going to work together to save the night court or, you know, mm. he's going to be there. So it's all right. It's, it's, it's fun, but these viewership numbers are insane. Uh, Sabrina, you hear about this. What do you think? Are you surprised that night court is doing so great? And do you think it's going to fizzle out? Um, I, I, I hope that it just gets better. You know what I mean? Um, the first episode, um, they had like 7.39 million viewers. And then the second episode, which was right after it was 6.75 million viewers. So it was only like an, an 8% drop, um, which is pretty good. So that means that people, most people stuck around to watch the second episode. And then whatever came on after that, I can't remember what it was, was a huge drop. It was only like maybe 3 million people watching it. So yeah. a lot of people ch- changed the channel after Night Court was over. So I think that's a very good sign. Um, I think a lot of people tuned in because the original Night Court was so awesome. And, you know, a lot of people really, really love that show, myself included. Um, so I think a lot well, of people were curious to see what it so was about, long. you know? Yeah. And but if you th- if you think about it, the original series also, it took like at least a solid season before it became like the well-oiled machine that it was for for those middle years, you know. Um, and the only thing I would say about this, that's um, I, d- they just need to like find their groove with each other, you know, and I'm, and I'm hoping that by the end of the season, they will have that. The uh, the original one was like very set in, in its time. The jokes were very of its time. Um, you know, like it was 1986 John Larroquette was like a skirt chasing, like, you know, grumpy dude that was always like, you know, pushing the boundaries of, of what, what's, uh, legal really with, with all of that crazy skirt chasing stuff. And so like, I feel like you could never, ever run any of those jokes now. So they made him be like a married or a widowed, uh, man who is like, you know, lost all the love in his life and he's just a curmudgeon now. So I feel like, you know, it's it's a totally different character for him, but he is such an amazing actor. It doesn't really matter. Um, the only thing I'd like to see more of is like the defendants, like because the original night court, that's what it was. What crazy person is going to be in that courtroom being arraigned? You know what I mean? And like this centers more on them as opposed to more uh, yeah. on the actual in the actual courtroom. And so I, I hope that shifts a little bit. 
Yeah, and the second episode, it seems like they're gonna they might start be pushing that because they're saying, hey, you gotta get to know these people, you gotta of feel course. their emotions, and you gotta you gotta relate to them, and you have to kind of have that humanity attached to them. And he's like, I don't like why would I do that? The joke was funny. He's like, why would I do that? They're all guilty. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so and so he's got to change his idea, like that he's, you know, now you're a different side. You're not just saying these people are guilty. You gotta find ways to get them off. And so hopefully they have some great characters come along. They had like a, a, the first couple episodes, they had a streaker, you know, and she says, I want to see everything. And he like opens his jacket and he flashes himself to her. And, and that was one of the funnier moments, I think, in like that episode, because John like puts like a folder out to cover him. And then <laughs> the bottom half falls over the, again to cover his private parts. It's pretty good. <laughs> Jake. Uh, you hear about this. Uh, do you know about the original Night, Car Night Court? And do you think this is a good idea for a new series? Uh, I have not watched the original Night Court. Um, I did not watch the new one. I did see some um, advertising for it, I think. You know, some um, little quick oh, yeah. clips that it's, that it's happening. And I remember thinking to myself, oh, that's the girl from um, Big Bang Theory, right? Um, yeah. Who plays the judge? Um, the Roush. Sure. Okay. So, um, and the little bit that I saw did not pique my interest. To be quite honest with you, I was just like, "Oh, slapstick!" <laughs> it's very Yay. slapstick. It's very yeah, slapstick. So I, yeah. I, I can do that to a certain point, but it's not necessarily what I seek out. So I might not be a good judge of whether it's going to work or not. So, um, but. I think, like Sabrina was saying, the 8% drop from the first to the second episode means people left it on, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's not and, that and big who of a knows drop. If, yeah, and so, I mean, either people watched the first episode and then they left the TV on while they went and finished cleaning the dishes or, you know, got the kids <laughs> to bed and the TV was just still running, you know, and then lights out after that, right? So it's hard to say. Like GR said, time will tell. Um yeah. You have to see what the next one does. And do you know what was playing prior to the premiere? What did it follow? Oh, I know it wasn't even... football. Yeah, it wasn't football. It wasn't, which is what the biggest it wasn't thing. football. So people tuned in specifically to watch that. Yeah, and that's what they were saying. Depending yeah. on what it followed, right? Depending on. Okay. So, yeah. yeah prime I think, time uh, position. Um, were you guys, you know, I, went air, I was a year old, GR. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> when it came uh, out, yeah, um, the but, OG yeah, one, I, I should I say, yeah, yes, the original one. I was not born yesterday. Well, yes, maybe I was. Um, well, in a way, but yeah, I don't think in a way, yeah, reborn every day, I guess. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. I might check it out. I'm gonna. Where can I go watch it? Is it on like, uh, it's a, it's on Pete. It's on Peacock right now, so you can watch uh, it on okay. Peacock if you have if you have if you have the Peacock. Um, and okay. they haven't released anything beyond that, but it's easy if you do have Peacock. They have the first two up, and of course, we'll see what happens when the next episode comes out, and we'll see how it yeah. if it keeps that kind of momentum. I mean, yeah. we'll see. You never know. But it's one of those things where it's you know you're 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 pulling off the old series, so you have maybe a built-in audience that still wants to see it. Maybe the older, mm -hmm. an older generation. I'm surprised to 49 is the graphic. I would think they'd be a little bit older, 18 to 49, sure. they were saying. But I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. Maybe it'll keep going, and maybe it'll go, you know, 10 more seasons. You never know. What do you guys think about Night Court? 